The main body of the shredder and the motor are fixed on the same base, mainly to strengthen its stability. During installation, the ground should be level to ensure that the main wheel and the motor wheel correspond to the line. Ensure that the conveyor belt is properly tensioned and the auxiliary equipment can be installed according to the site conditions without hidden dangers and normal working conditions. All connecting parts need to be filled with gaskets. The power circuit of the whole machine must be connected by personnel. Before starting the system, check whether the connection parts are loose, whether the bearings and other parts that need to be lubricated are lubricated, and start the machine to see if the steering is consistent with the marked steering. Rear. Only start the whole machine slowly. Strictly check whether the installation of each part of the machine meets the requirements before starting. Do not drop metal objects into the machine. First, move the belt with your hand to perform a trial run to see if there is any phenomenon, such as biting, rotating and bumping the shell to avoid accidents. Startup sequence. First start the main power supply, and start the machine several times until it starts normally. The filling should be kept evenly, and it is strictly forbidden for metal lumps to enter the discharge port. During use, the motor load should not be overloaded, and keep normal operation. Before normal operation of the equipment, run it for a period of time with no load, and check each component in detail. If there is any abnormality, it should be repaired in time, and no load again, until the no load operation is normal. The wear procedures of the blades and grinding plates should be checked frequently. If the blade grinding plates are found to be severely worn, they should be replaced in time. When shutting down, stop the host first, then cut off the main power supply. When the equipment is not in use, Clean all parts of the equipment. Clean and replace the bearing lubricant. Shield the equipment with dust. And try to avoid the equipment from rain and exposure. Shredders can be roughly divided into two types. According to their working principles. Type 1. Double shaft or single shaft rotation at low speed. And the cutter head is used to cut, cut, tear and pull the material. The direct connected worm gear motor is installed on the driving shaft of the crusher and is transmitted to the driven shaft through gear transmission so that the moving knife of the driving